Oasis star Bonehead Paul Arthurs, 57, underwent a grueling course of chemotherapy and radiotherapy after telling the world had been diagnosed with tonsil cancer back in April. However, he has now revealed that his latest scan shows he is clear of the disease. The former Oasis guitarist was celebrating his cancer-free status on Instagram, in a post that was liked by his ex-bandmate Liam Gallagher. Paul exclaimed to his 117,000 followers, Update on my cancer, I had a full scan 10 days ago, and it's all clear, it's gone. The jubilant star added a message of heartfelt gratitude to those who had supported him through a difficult period. Thank you so much all of you for the messages I've had throughout, you've helped me more than you know, he assured fans. He also shouted out to the doctors who treated him, writing, Thank you especially to the team at the Christians, into recovery now and see you all soon next, sick. It's clear that Liam Gallagher and his family still have affection for Paul, whose Instagram bio describes him as a founding member of Oasis. Not only did Liam hit the like button on the post, but his 24-year-old daughter Molly wrote a message of congratulations, declaring it the best news. Earlier this year, Paul had told of how he was gutted to be missing gigs with Liam and the band. However, had been clear that his cancer was treatable and that he hoped to be back on the concert circuit soon. Now his wishes have come true, thanks to his successful treatment over the last few months. Liam had expressed his well wishes at the time he was first diagnosed, writing online, sending big love to the one and only Bonehead and his family wishing you a speedy recovery. We're all thinking of you Rasta you'll be back on stage before you can say are we doing Columbia LGX, sick. Another former Oasis member, Andy Bell, had also chimed in to say get well soon. Paul had quit the iconic rock group 23 years ago, citing a wish to step back from showbiz and spend more time with his family. Yet that hasn't stopped him from participating in other projects with Liam over the years, including his band BDI. The pair were on stage together last year at the Reading and Leeds festivals last summer. He had also been scheduled to appear at Nebworth this June, although his diagnosis called a halt to the planned appearance. One of his most memorable reunion moments for Paul was when the pair emotionally paid tribute to the late The Charlatan star John Brooks. A show back in 2013 to honor the star, who died from brain cancer at the age of just 44, saw them perform Live Forever and Columbia in his memory. Once I plugged my amp in it was as if we'd never been apart, Paul told Enemy magazine at the time. We've both matured. Liam's off home to bed now, so maybe has more professional these days. Now, with his health improving drastically, it looks as though more collaborations between Paul and Liam could be on the cards for the future, much to fans' delight.